Life is long if lived without predators. This cobra has spent a year battling for its life with mongooses, pythons and many other dangers. This life experiences and the evolution of this 18 feet long most venomous snake has made it the mighty king. It's the beginning of March. This female queen has shed its skin, filling the air with a scent that attracts other males. Through this forky tongue, this male has followed her up here. Oh, there is competition here too, just like everywhere else. As anyone with brain would do, king also don't waste their poison as they are immune to it. So they duel to pin each other to the ground. This is often confused with courtship. This male has dominated the other male. Now it's time for romance. Through her submissive coil, the queen is presenting herself for inspection and to tell that she is receptive. King responds by head budding, indicating that he too is ready. He sets himself parallel to the female, you know, to align any one of the two penises. In this position, under a leafy canopy, they may lie like this for hours. Queen will lay eggs in about 45 days. During this period, she has found a safe place for the eggs. By curling her body, she amasses fallen leaves and twigs into a pile to make a nest. This trait makes her unique from the snakes. Oh my god, she's laying eggs. It's 23. She is placing eggs at various depths in the nest to produce males and females based on the temperature of the eggs. Her work is complete. Now she sits on this leafy throne to protect the eggs until they hatch in around 90 days. Just one or two weeks before the hatching, the mother leaves the young ones behind to teach them to fight the world themselves. That is why, even when the young ones are hatching, they can deliver a lethal blow. Once out, they leave the nest in search of food, which they consume once or twice a month due to their slow digestion. Though all the hatchlings are princes by birth, one or two who overcomes the challenges of the life becomes the king.